Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the wrench. Today we're going to do a really quick video on this Craftsman ZTS 6000 Zero Turn. You never know what you're going to get when you buy a used machine or when you're repairing something for someone. You always have to go in and fix the things they didn't fix correctly. In this case, uh, they went with the no flat tires. These are solid uh, rubber composite tires that do not go flat. And when you buy these on Amazon, they come as a set and they come with the little side shims that go between the tire rim and the outer framing of the, uh, I can't think, you know what I mean, this right here. But what they don't come with is the sleeves on the inside. So let me show you how easy it is to remove those tires, where the sleeves go, and how it works. Ooh, the thunder's rolling. And in case you need to buy something like this for yourself, there's your part number. 098706 by Rotary. And what this is, is an axle sleeve. Okay, basically I'm going to show you where that goes real quick. We are going to take this wheel off with a 5 8 and a 5 8 Easy peasy. Take the nut off. Pull out the bolt. There are spacers that will come with your wheel set. Okay, these are important. Then you got your wheel. Alright, and this is what you get when you get a set. And that is the bolt that works as your axle. Now, when you put that in there, you can see that there's all kinds of room in there. So what happens is the wheels get bound up. They don't work well. They mess up your bolt. So this spacer goes inside your wheel. Okay. Then these spacers go on the outside of that. On both sides. I'm trying to hold too many things and beat the rain here. Okay, so that goes on one side, and that goes on the other. So that's what you got. Then you put it back up in place. Put your bolt back through. Doesn't matter which side the bolt goes through. And then... You just put your nut back on and it's that simple so if you were replacing these wheels you would uh, you would just do the same thing but when you buy those sets on Amazon they don't come with that inner slug tighten it down and you're back in business and that's it so that's how easy it is to change wheels on these zero turns they all work pretty much the same and that's how you put the, the slug on the inside that wraps around the bolt. It acts as a, as a bearing, protects the bolt because the bolt is smaller than the hole in the tire, the inner diameter of the tire rim. So that's it. Hope this helped. This was a 5 8 socket and a 5 8 inch wrench on mine. Yours might be different, but that's it. Those sleeves, I bought one this morning. It was like $9.50. So when you buy a kit and it doesn't come with that inner sleeve and you wonder why it's wobbling and the bolt going through it is too small, now you know how to fix it. It stops your wheels from binding up and it works beautifully. Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button if you will. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls. Hit the subscribe button and see you soon.